Welcome to Defense and Space News TV. If you not subscribe this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for daily update. Today we are going to discuss about Super Sukhoi. So let's begin today's video. The Indian Super Sukhoi program is an upgraded package to existing fleet of SU-30 MKI. It is meant as a response to China's $2 billion contract with Russia in 2015 for the acquisition of 24 SU-35 fighter, also dubbed Super Flanker and the last flanker by Western media, and procurement of the J-20 and J-35 5th generation stealth fighters. The upgraded package will be replaced the N-011M bars with the new AESA radar, new developed devices and the AL-31FP engines will be replaced by a new power plant with a longer lifespan and super cruise capability. Unlike other hybrid PESA radar system, the N-011M does not use the same receiver amplifier for each TRI module. Rather, it has separate system like an AES radar, but in this case, single transmission. It uses a single oscillator of a fixed frequency. The new radar will have an active electronically scanned array antenna with a number of transmit and receive modules, which may number up to 1.5K. It will have longer effective range in low probability intercept and greater frequency agility, which is the ability of a radar system to quickly shift operating frequency to account for atmospheric effects, jamming, mutual interference with the friendly sources, or to make it more difficult to locate the radar broadcaster through the radio direction field finding. The power plant upgrade will likely give the Super Suco improved maneuverability, kinetic performance, range, and aircraft ability rate. The main difference between it and the Chinese SU-35, however, will be lack of stealth enhancement and the reduced structural weight. The SU-35 uses a greater percent of composite alloy and carbon fiber in the internal structure. The airbag is replaced by outward deflection of the radar, while now is controlled by vectoring thrust and the weight of the EVS e is also significantly lighter than the burst, yielding an empty weight of the 15,000 kg compared to the SU-30's 17,700 kg, a nearly 3 ton difference. The external skin of the SU-35 is mostly made of composites. Additionally, the SU-35's engine, compressor phase, air intake, wall and cockpit canopy is treated with ferromagnetic radar absorbent material. Not the case with the SU-30 MKI and similar upgrade will be expensive. The upgraded SU-30 MKI is unlikely to equip the SU-35's overall capability, but should be analogous to upgrade SU-30 SM-1 which features data link, networking improved radio communication and expanded range of precision munitions like the KH-59 MK-2 cruise missile. I think upgraded SU-30 MKI is better than the previous one, but not equal to SU-35, but also not so behind from China's SU-35. Thanks for watching, do subscribe, like, comment and stay with us.